the shit out of me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Whenever there's a car coming, I gotta turn off a flashlight. Actually, you know what? No. I really don't want to. This might be a nice bench to come sit on later. Rest in peace. It's really cold. So here, here at the Ross Bay Cemetery, Victoria, BC. It is a beautiful cemetery. Um, I was here last night, but I did not have the right equipment at all. I basically just had my GoPro, not even a flashlight with me. Well, I had a headlamp, but you know, that's not really super appropriate. It was also raining, like pouring rain last night. So I went ahead and I bought this camera today. <sighs> Uh, last night I saw a couple deer and a cat. But yeah, that flashlight that I had yesterday was not very like good. All of a sudden, feel like very out in the open here. So my plan, I know there's a couple benches in here. I'm gonna find a nice quiet spot to sit down, provided that nobody comes along and interrupts. I'm um, gonna set up my camera. Someone's tires are squealing. Set up my camera. And get a little EVP session in. My cell phone has a little recording app. It just records audio. I use it when I sleep. Just to listen to all the funny noises that I make. But God, it's cold. I think it's kind of misty or foggy. Like... Can't really tell. <laughs> There's some people over there. I knew this was gonna happen because it's a Saturday night. Trains. I'm actually gonna walk around the cemetery a couple times just so I know it's clear and nobody's gonna be here. Fuck with me. Um, so this cemetery, sadly, has been vandalized a number of times. I was reading up on the history of it for a couple days now. I mean, so the thing it's most famous for is having famous people inside it.
politicians and that's an interesting tomb, headstone. Looks like a, a face right there. Let's see if I can. Mr. Patrick Everett. Blind myself with a flashlight. <laughs> so there's some re really nice um, headstones in here. I'd like to think that when I die, I'll have a nice little resting place. They even um, auctioned off a couple of places. the tree branches moving. Heard like squeaking. Um, yeah, like I was saying, they auctioned off a couple of the... They had seven spots available. Um, and they've auctioned them off for like 25 grand a piece. To help pay for the maintenance of a cemetery. It was privately owned and named after the owner of the cemetery, Miss Ross. So not only was it the first woman in British Columbia to own a piece of the cemetery, or a piece of land, um, she was also an Aboriginal woman of Aboriginal descent. All right. I'm just gonna be quiet and take some nice stroll here. bats I heard a bat I heard a thud it might be a deer said yesterday I ran into some deer they were all lying down I could grab my bigger flashlight I just don't think it's very necessary right now some out yeah when the deer feel threatened, they stomp their hooves. Caius out. I just heard it again. Long pathway. So 
Now... Hearing something over here. Oh, the Pacific family, man. That's so nice. And like, there's a road right there that goes along, and, and a beach. Here's a um, mausoleum up ahead here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, zoom in on it. Yeah, my focus is just terrible. It'll take some getting used to. This is my first trip out here uh, with the camera of this nature, anyway. Only thing is, you can probably see this beam of light from like the streets. People live nearby. Don't really want to be too loud. What is going on? There we go. My dang zoom. Here's the end of it. Um, I don't know how much of that you can see, but it goes all the way back there. And there's like a path that goes further that way and then it goes back along the cemetery. Oh, it's freaking cold. Very cold. And the main reason I'm here for some EVP action. This might actually be the best bench, but it's kind of at the edge of the cemetery. I mean, it's a really nice bench, but I kind of want to be back where I was before. And it'll take me some time to set up the cameras. It's gonna be cool. I'm gonna have my camera looking at me, and then I'm gonna have another camera looking at my phone, which is gonna be on my first camera stand. And then I'm gonna have my GoPro on my face because what the heck, why not? And we'll see if anybody feels like talking tonight. It's a peaceful enough night. The moon's kind of crescent. I 
keep hearing like I don't know maybe raindrops I do know it's a cold night in January oh actually it's February now the happy new year everybody by the way hope everyone had a brilliant Christmas So we're coming up to crossroads. And like literally anybody could just walk through here. <laughs> like I'm doing. Like it could be in their shortcut to wherever they, you know, they're going. Yeah, there's a number of famous people who live here, or have been buried here. The owner of the cemetery, um, her son, Emily Carr, is buried here. Uh, damn. My mind's just kind of drawing a blank. trees have been planted here through the ages. I can find that bench. That's where I'm gonna set up. <sighs> this is harder than I thought. So yeah, I feel like this is the very middle of a cemetery. And I'm not seeing a bench. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Uh, but yeah, like this little patch right here is kind of right in the middle of everything. sit at your bench here in a minute. Lights out. <laughs> so yeah, you can see when it does shit. Check this camera. Man, this would be nice if I could just put a light on. But I think it'll be fine. Okay. It's cold. 
cold. <laughs> um, before I begin, I just want to say thank you for letting me be here. I'm here out of respect. That's about all I gotta say about that. I wish you eternal peace. And I'm not gonna force anybody to do anything they don't want to. That's not who I am. A little about myself, I've served in the military now for three years, and it's been quite the process. But I've managed to come to this beautiful city of Victoria, and I'm here to discover its history. It's very rich, and I have a longing to learn. So if there's anybody out there who would like to speak, feel free to do so. I'm here to listen. I'm sure you have many great stories to tell. Your mothers and fathers, your ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Grandfathers, grandmothers. It's very cold tonight. <laughs> I guess I could keep talking about myself if you'd like to hear or maybe I'll just be quiet must be hard your final resting space is like is smack dab in the middle of a very busy city very important people at one time. You still are. Your history is made. I wish I could learn about each and every one of you. About your deeds. Laws that were passed. People you amazed. You inspire us. If there is anyone else that would like to speak, please do so. I'm about to get out of here. It's pretty cold. I don't have anybody to keep me company.
it's actually, um, I actually feel okay, you know. Feel, uh, feel nice, calm, peace, peaceful is a word. Also, I'm going to apologize in advance. <laughs> I'm parked over there and my car is kind of loud. So as I'm leaving, I'll leave you all in peace now. In your beautiful home. Frosting over. <laughs> Out of here. I'm just going towards the lights. <laughs> ah, it's not a metaphor. It's going towards the street lights. Ah. Oh, it's freezing, guys. I feel like it's maybe zero. <sighs> I don't even know how long I've been shooting for, but it's not very long. <laughs> oh, it was worth it. I don't really care. What anyone says. Ah, I knew there was deer. I hear ya. Alright, no need for a night camera here. Hello, little deer. One of these deers had a little baby. Deer here in Victoria aren't scared of anything. 
Well, there's people anyway. Which is a problem. Especially if you've got a garden. <laughs> yeah. So everybody, this has been the Ross Bay Cemetery. Thank you for joining me.